What is up friends, to collectors and newcomers, welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the Miniverse Harry Potter's Make It Mini Potions. This is actually my very first time opening some and I did find a little hack on how to find which one, which is the pin cheat sheet, but apparently there are some that are rares, extremely rares and or super rares, I would say, and they are not in the guide or in the cheat sheet. Maybe we'll get some of those ultra rare and we don't even know it. But let's get these open and check them out because I'm pretty excited about these. They come individually packed in different bags. This one has, says potions, so I'm assuming this one has the potions. Oh, this is so cool. Huh. Oh, one wand, one cauldron, and one glass of crystal something. So, I think this one, the, the bag's just gonna kinda say random stuff, huh? And this is the cauldron. So cool. Okay, get the thing out. Bruh, you're going everywhere. This is a little table. This is a stand for the table. I don't know why I thought it was something else. I don't know. But I'm loving the table. It's like very, looks like a little wood uh, table, a little wooden table. A little funnel cork. I'm going to show you what the cork is for in a bit. And we have the Tongs. Tongs are always useful. They're always going to be here. And the ball does turn it into a little potion bottle and you can use this to display your minis. So you'll put the table and then the mini and you can store it and put it on your shelf. I think that's going to be freaking awesome. And it comes with the instructions for the potion. So the potion that we got was Wolfsbane and it comes with a step by step of what to do. So Wolfsbane is for werewolves. It actually is taken by werewolves if they desperately want to avoid transformation during a full moon. So this does not cure, but it does relieve any symptoms of lycanthropy. We'll do step by step. In our cauldron, we do have our elixir or our mixer for our potion, which of course is the resin. We'll put it in here and then we can mix different things. So it says to mix this blue potion in here, which is like blue glitter. Pour some in here. I don't know if I should pour it all. And then it says to mix it. Well, you can see that, but it says to mix it. Isn't that super cool? The color looks really awesome. And then in here, And then using our funnel, we're going to carefully put it in here, or pour it in there. I would either do it slowly or do it from a little higher up. That way, once it, reach the, it reaches the bottom, it is getting thinner, so it doesn't get stuck at the top. And I think that is almost all of it. Every last drop. Come on. Come on, every last drop, my little werewolf. I'm gonna let it sit. Instructions say to let it sit or put it under UV light for five to 10 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my UV light for five to 10 minutes and I will be right back. And it's set. We'll go ahead and put the cork on it. And to be honest, it's supposed to have like a wolfsbane label and like some string to go around it, but I have no idea where it is. I don't know if it did not come in the ball or if I lost it. I couldn't have lost it because everything I opened, I opened here. So I don't know where it is. It's gonna pop out somewhere unless it didn't come with it. And if it didn't, I'm gonna have to put some yarn or something on it. <laughs> but this is it. This is our wolfsbane and it looks pretty cool. I don't like that you can't see any of the bones, but hey, we'll figure something out for next time. 
I think next time we'll put in the potion first and then the bone so that we can actually put them on the sides. Because here I had to push it like to, so you can kind of kind of see it on the side, but not really. And kind of doesn't work for me. All right, we're going to go ahead and open another one. For our next one, it is a different one. I know for a fact because a little pinpoint is somewhere else. I just don't remember which one it was in. Let's go ahead and open this one and uh, check it out. And we got the flesh eating slug repellents. That is exactly what it sounds like. So this repellent is for flesh eating bugs. And it comes with the carrier, a little table, the cauldron that holds the potion, the label. This is exactly what is missing in the other one. So it's the label and the cord. So I don't know where it could have been. I might have misplaced it, but this is what's missing in the other one. Obviously it comes with the potion bottle and the cork potion mixers, a pouring spout, and again, this ball you can also make into a potion bottle. This time we will be using the table because, I don't know, it looks cool. <laughs> and it says to put in the shell, so it does come with little, I want to say they're little shells, little organic shells, we'll put them in there. I'm not sure if I want to put all of them, but more than likely, yes. Actually, they're not shells. They're, are, they are leaves, although the orange ones look like shells. We'll go ahead and mix it. And we're going to put some of the moss into the potion bottle. Does it just all go in together? or I guess so. And then we'll be putting our funnel. Give it one last stir before we pour it in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Notice how it just came out really, really quick. I'm going to turn it around facing the Harry Potter logo in the back just so that we can see it better. But if you pick it up a little more, it doesn't pour as thick. Because once it's getting to the bottom, it gets thinner. I love how you can see the leaves coming in. They're like pouring in there all together and making our potion. As it's pouring in, I'm tapping to try to get every single drop as possible. We'll try to push them with our spoon. We'll push them all in there so we can at least get the leaves into our potion. There's some that are stuck in there, so I'm going to use my tweezers to push them in. And here we have it. We have our potion. Before we seal it, let's go ahead and cure it with our UV light. So let me take it over and I will be right back. And here it is cured. And took about five minutes, I want to say. I'm going to put the little cork on it. And then we're going to put our cord and the label. We'll start with the label. So this is supposed to go right in the middle of the H, apparently. But I don't know. I feel like it should be in the back. But it's supposed to be right in the middle here. Although I would prefer it somewhere here in the back. But yeah, it goes here. And the cord will have, will go around here. And here it is. I had to make the knot off camera, obviously, because I was not going to be able to do it. But it looks so good right here. Put it right there. Set everything aside. Potion mixing, potion mixers in there. Our cauldron. Ooh, yeah. These go in here, right? They go in here. They do. So cool. I love this. And this is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of our two potions. Between the two, I really like the flesh eating slug repellent more. Not only because this one didn't come with the string or the cord and the label, but because you can't really see the little bones I went in there or the other ingredients I went in there aside from obviously the blue glitter. So other than that, I think it would have been great, like at least to have been able to see it, but you can't see anything. You can barely see it here on the side, but yeah, and maybe I put too much glitter in it, but it didn't tell me exactly how much glitter to put, so X and A on this, but I'm loving this one. Look at all the details that you can actually see in here, which I am loving. I can't wait to get more and uh, show you guys. Let me know if you have been able to get some, some. If you've opened them and what do you think which one has been your favorite and also in the comments let me know what you think of these reviews so i know if i'm doing a good job or not 
because, you know, we all gotta know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. I will talk to you guys soon.